I'm here today with James Ward, and uh, we just kind of started talking before I even hit the record button. Um, but before we get into what we were just talking about, when when and uh, what uh, service did you enlist? I was in active duty army. Active and, duty army. Yep, I enlisted in 2001. You know, so we're about the same age. So you was right out of high school. Right, right out of high school, I did the delayed entry program. Okay. And then I was graduating at 17. And then after I turned 18, I went in. And then went through basic training. I was in basic training during 9-11. Yeah. The last week of, well, was about three days before basic was over is when 9-11 happened. Yeah. And then from there, everything changed. Yeah. It went crazy after that. It went, how long were you in for? I was in for four and a half years. Four and a half years. And I got out under medical for having ankle surgery. Ankle surgery. Did you, um, uh, were you uh, stationed overseas at any time? I know you mentioned Hawaii earlier. I was over in Hawaii. My unit was uh, deployed to Afghanistan. Okay. How long were you over there for? I was actually non deployable because oh. of my ankle. Oh, really? Yeah. Unfortunately, they wouldn't let me deploy. Oh, wow. And then that's when I got out under medical. Okay. And then now 12 years later. Yeah, 12 years later, you're trying to get back in. I'm getting back in. That's cool. i got to get medical waivers. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long process so far. Yeah. I've been working on it for almost three months. Really? Just to get medical waivers. Wow. So you're going back into uh, the guard active to Being work on helicopters and stuff like that? Full-time guard, yeah. Yeah. Work on Black Hawk 15 that, Tango. That's cool. My best friend in the Navy flies those in yeah. Japan. I'd love to fly. I was actually going to be a warrant officer. I yeah. was putting in my packet when I got hurt. Oh, that sucks. And then, so, but now I believe I'm probably too old to fly. Yeah. But I still can crew. And yeah. Crew chief, so I still get to fly, but I don't get to pilot. Yeah. So, yeah. That, either way, I get to fly. You get, so to be up, you get to be up there. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool. The fun part. That's the biggest thing that I miss. It's yeah, flying. it's flying. Yeah. Did you get to do it uh, the first the first round when you were I did. I flew on a, I was uh, Chinook helicopters. That's okay. what I worked on, so yeah. I got to fly in those quite a bit. That's cool. Did you, were you always in engineering, stuff like that, mechanical stuff? I've or? been an automotive technician since I was really 15. So this is what you wanted to do then? It kind of just fell out. Kind of fell out and you yeah. just good at it and just yeah. got better at it, huh? Unfortunately. That's kind of the way it works. I mean, you know, I, radio wasn't what I wanted to do. I just fell into it got it and was like okay i can get better at this yeah. you know what i mean and that was kind of it's kind of how life is you know rarely do you get rock stars or guys that wake up and they want to do this you know i wish i was a rock star. <laughs> do you so, though well do i you? mean it's it's got to be better than working outside in this heat uh right now yeah dude it's, right say it's miserable i don't even want to go back to work <laughs> like I missed half the day Monday, and it's then the rest hot. of the day I was just, I was worthless. It's hot. It's too hot. <laughs> it was. It's too hot. Yeah. I just, these people that live in like Florida and Arizona right now, I'm just like, man. Oh, man. I, 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 lived in, I lived in Wyoming for a year, and right when I was there, it wasn't that bad, but now it's hotter there than it is here. Yeah. So it's, it's miserable this year. So I don't know how people, it's almost to the point where it's almost unlivable. Um, so that's cool. Um, how, how long were you in Hawaii for? I was in Hawaii a little over three years. Yeah? Did you like it over there? I loved it. I hear it's awesome, but just way too expensive. It's too expensive if you... I've never lived there as a civilian. Yeah, you there, you look at the... I lived there yeah. as military, yeah. so I lived on post. Yeah. Um, I got my housing allowance and cost of living allowance. Yeah. So for me, I was just married. My wife and I got married while I was in uh, AIT, which uh-huh. is after basic yeah. training school. So we got married, so her and I were over there. And then for us, it wasn't that bad. I mean... I made decent money for the time as a you know a young soldier, and then didn't have any bills, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah, living off base, yeah. As yeah. a civilian, it's it's pretty expensive. I yeah, I had my well, another best friend was over there working um, for, uh, as a contractor for the government, doing yeah. like soil sampling and stuff. And I mean, he was making it. I mean, right out. He's got his PhD right out of college and was making a ton of money living in a studio oh, apartment. Yeah like barely getting by yeah. and I'm just like how is that even it's possible it's crazy like they'll ship uh, civilian contractors over there to do certain stuff on helicopters and that's the money they make is on the road yeah it's crazy but it's, it's an island in the middle of nowhere it is yeah. it's, I lived on Oahu yeah and the only thing I could do is either go to the beach or ride my motorcycle oh, around circles hmm. that's, that's the only bad thing is it you can only do so much for so long. And it just becomes background after a while. It does. Yeah, I know. My mom lived in um, uh, Divide, Colorado, which is about 13,000 feet up, and it's on the other side of Pikes Peak, like when you go up through Winter Park and you go around it. And that's 
I mean, she had the Santa Cristo Mountains in her backyard, right on federal land. It was unbelievable. But again, after being up there for several years, it just becomes background. Yeah. You don't even see it anymore. It's you crazy. Get so used to yeah. It. yeah. Then and it's it's I, I don't want to sound like that. Just it doesn't make it sound that we're not appreciative of it. But that's just kind of how life goes with that yeah. stuff. You know, you talk. Jay is from Hawaii, our afternoon guy. And he talks about. It, he's like, yeah, it was a blast. But you know, he's it's the same thing. It was just home. You yeah. know, which you is just cool. Get, yeah, it's just the way it is. Like my oldest two kids, they were born there, mm-hmm. and they really want to go back. They want me to go back active duty. So I can get, because I can put it in my contract where that's where I want to go. So you can pick where you want to go. For your initial duty station, you can get it in your contract. Yeah. And that's what I did the first time. So I was like, man, I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah. So I had it in writing on paper. I mean, they had no choice but to send me. Yeah. So we went there, and it was great. And my oldest two want to go back because they were born there. Yeah. And my youngest two were born here. Yeah. So. So you got four kids? I've got four kids. Ooh, mama. Yeah, my wife and I got married young. She was 16, and I was just turned 18. Yeah. And we've had, we had our first, our daughter about a year and a half after we were married. Yeah. And then. Wow. Our youngest is three. Wow. And she's 14. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Dude. And they really want to go back, but I don't know. (laughs) Then I got to sell my house. Yeah, you got to do that whole thing. Is that where you, so you don't really know where you want to go right now if you did get back in, you don't know where you want to go? Well, I'll stay here. Yeah. Um, My my plan is to stay here. Yeah. Um, Because being full-time guard. I can work here. I work out at the Afcrad. Afcrad, yeah. um, and then I can just stay my full term, basically, in military here, unless I decide to transition over back over to active duty. Yeah, that's really cool that you're doing that. It's really cool. Yeah, I decided about five months ago. I just I was laying in bed on the weekend watching a movie, and I just started watching war movies. Yeah. And then something just in my head clicked, yeah. and I just decided that's that's what I wanted to do. That's cool. Are that's, you working with guys that are helping you get back in and stuff? Or? Um, I've got a good family member of mine. Um, yeah. He is in the active full time guard. Okay. Um, he works out at the Agcred. Cool. And he's been, I don't remember how long he's been in, but he's been in for quite a while. Yeah. And he's been he's been a big help, um, in my process. That's cool. And then he put me in contact with a. Uh, National Guard recruiter, mm-hmm. and so since then it's just been. They've been pretty good help on what to do. And, do what you need to do. Yeah. That's cool. Well, it sounds like you're on your way. Thanks for coming to lunch with me today, and thank you for your service, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'll come lunch anytime. <laughs> I never pass up free lunch. <laughs>